So now that we've got the Blackstone put together, we're going to go through the seasoning process to make sure that the steel, steel griddle is ready, nice and non-slick and we'll make sure that none of our food that we want to cook on here will stick to it. It'll also protect it, keep it rust free as well. The care for one of these griddles is very similar to cast iron to where we never want to use hot soapy water except for the very first step in this process. So it'll be the first and last time we use a little hot soapy water. I've got a black stone scouring pad that we use to scrub everything down. I have some old t-shirt material that I cut up to use to apply the oil once the surface is heated and a pair of tongs to keep my, myself a stay, safe distance away from the hot oil. And we'll go ahead and start rubbing everything down and keeping it nice and clean. The purpose of the soapy water is to make sure any of the manufacturing oils and anything that might have happened during shipping is removed before you put your seasoning on. You want a good, fresh surface to make sure that your seasoning sticks well. Um, the last thing you want is to spend all of that time and effort to put a good season on top of your new griddle and to start flaking right away. Uh, so I'm not going to make you suffer through looking at me clean this. We'll do a short little time lapse so you can see the process. Now that we've got the griddle surface nice and clean, we're going to go ahead and turn on all four burners on high and let this run for about 10 to 15 minutes. What you'll notice is this will start to blacken. This will this will uh, burn off any of the residual oil, any other debris, anything else that might be on here, and then start to season. Right now it's a nice color of battleship gray, but it'll turn into the black stone pretty quick once we start to season. As you use the griddle, it'll turn into a nice rich black. Let's go ahead and get this fired up. We have all four burners on high. We're gonna let this go until it gets good and smoky hot all the way across. And uh, we'll put this on a time lapse so you can see that. Once it gets to um, the right temperature and it starts to discolor, we'll start add, uh, adding the avocado oil. And you could use uh, canola oil, flaxseed oil, grapeseed oil. There's lots of different oils that people prefer. I've recently started using this avocado oil in the last few months. And I've really liked the performance of it, so I'm going to try it for a seasoning agent on this Blackstone griddle. So we've let this go now for about 12 minutes. And I just checked the temperature a second ago. The highest I got was right in this area right here. You can see where it's real nice and white hot. That was 613 degrees. In the very far corners, it was about 370, 375, and about 400 along the front and the back. But right through that middle was between 550 and 600 and 615 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a light amount of avocado oil on here and spread it out. I've got my tongs so I can keep a safe distance away with my rolled up towel. And we'll get the first coat on. And it takes a very small amount of oil to be able to do what we want to do here. And you want to be very careful not to uh, splash this on you because this is hot, hot, hot. Get all the way up into the corners, all the way around along the back edge. Now I need just a little bit more. I'm so hot, this oil is dissipating quickly. I just want to make sure that this 
edges all the way around. Nice and light coat of oil. So we're going to let this burn off for a few minutes. Once it stops smoking, we'll do another application. It began raining at this point, so we ended up relocating the grill just outside of the rain so it wouldn't mess up the seasoning process. Well, we were able to get a few coats of avocado oil seasoning on the Blackstone. If you didn't, uh, I'm sure you noticed during that time lapse, we had a little bit of trouble once the oil got hot. Uh, I tried the old t-shirt material. It burned that t-shirt material right up. So I tried some paper towels that caused the tip of paper towels to fall apart. I tried some old cotton um, uh, bath towels that we use for just cleaning towels. And even those, they're still smoking over here in my trash box. And uh, it's amazing how hot, I was really kind of concerned doing the natural gas conversion versus propane, how this grill would heat up in comparison to propane. And my infrared thermometer goes to 620 degrees and right all the way through this center section is too hot. It's greater than 620 degrees. On the outside, we're nearing 600 degrees. So this thing can really, really heat up substantially. I imagine the majority of the cooking that I'm gonna be doing is going to be on low because I want this in that 325 to 375 range for most of the cooking I'm going to do. The biggest challenge that I had was trying to keep the debris off from my towels that wanted to disintegrate on me as I put the oil down. Uh, otherwise, we've got a good, nice, heavy coat of oil multiple times on every surface on the top, on the blackstone top. And it is now a blackstone. It looks great and I can't wait to start cooking on this thing. So hopefully you'll join us as we prepare some tasty food on this and we'll see you next time.